Every hunter chases their own dreams. We have different goals and different reasons in different ways, but what connects us all is our passion for hunting. Going to Swedish Lapland is a very special thing. To some, it might seem like the last European frontier, but to me, it's the soul of Scandinavia. In this country, high above the Arctic Circle, with giant moose, reindeer and old legends, hunting has always been about putting meat on the table. First day in hunting camp, spent a little time sighting in the rifles. Uh, we didn't have a lot of time, we just went scouting a little bit. Pretty quickly the, the dog picked up the scent of a moose and since the sun goes down at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it was too dark already to pursue the moose so we decided to hang back a little bit and let the dog do its job. Now she's out there barking, uh, she's still on it, she's still ready and uh, you can see on the on the GPS and uh, she's having the time of her life. This, this is what these dogs do, that's what they're bred for and uh, that's what they've been doing for hundreds of years. So uh, this is a really exciting trip. It's great to be here and experience the Swedish backcountry of Lapland. and stuff and ice and the dog is barking and we try to catch up with it and every time we run left it runs right and everything is like walking on a on a hockey ring <laughs> Day three in Swedish Lapland, moose camp. Today, we'll make it happen. Gonna try again, heading out and uh, yeah, hopefully. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna see if we can sneak in and get a clear shot of the moose. Really hope this works. I must say that was pretty intense. Let's go and pet the dog. It's done a wonderful job. Like hunting this way, you really have to practice those walking and running shots. Yeah. And yeah. you need some, you need something where you could see them, where you have that field of view. Mm. And I mean, walking through this stuff, I right, end up, you end up what, ten? <laughs> millimeters away from him. Yeah. And if you had too much magnification, everything would just be swimming around. Yeah, yeah. We had a really exciting day. We got everything we came for uh, and more. This could not have worked out if we didn't have an expert dog and an, uh, an expert guide. <laughs> and now we've got a lot of meat hanging out there uh, that we need to process and share amongst uh, the owners and uh, the community. But as tradition is, the hunter who brought down the, uh, the moose, he also gets a part. So get to take home some of the best meat in the world and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So this was a great trip. I'm really thankful of uh, being here and uh, I must say this is not my last trip to Swedish Lapland. It's, it's, it's an awesome place.